Hello, and welcome to the Netophone Calling Overview of your Microsoft Teams account. Our automated installation requires no PowerShell scripting, so you will be up and running in no time with your Teams account that has been supercharged by Netophone. Let's go ahead and do a quick overview of the functionality of your Microsoft Teams account. We are going to start off in the call section so we can make a call using our Teams dialer, now with the additional power of Netophone. So let's click on dial a number, and we have the option to dial numbers from the keypad, or we can make a call by selecting from one of our contacts over on the left-hand side within our contact list. Now we are just waiting for the recipient of our phone call to answer. And once the call is active, we can go through your options. We have the option to mute the call. We also have the keypad option where you can use to dial in another caller. Then we have the more actions option, which will give you additional options such as call transfer and consult then transfer. A consult transfer is when you are able to first speak to the person at the other end of the call before you transfer your caller. We also have the option to conference call both Teams members in addition to external phone numbers. To conference someone from an external number, you can simply just type in that number and then the person will be called. When the recipient answers a call, you have control options for that person. You can put this person on mute, you can pin this person to the top of the call list, or even remove this individual. If you choose to remove the caller, it'll provide you with the status here within this sidebar. The participant has been disconnected and we can simply end the call by selecting the red phone icon. For inbound calls, a pop-up will appear within your dashboard in the lower right-hand corner. You can choose to accept or reject the call. Here we have accepted the call, and again we have the same options that we just went over in the previous active call. Next, let's move on to your voicemail settings. Access your settings by clicking on your icon in the upper right-hand corner. Then you will select Calls, and you can control what happens to calls that are not answered. If you would like your voicemails to go to your Netophone dashboard and not appear within your Microsoft Teams account, you can select the Do Nothing option. If you would rather have your Microsoft Teams voicemail answer the call, you can go in and select the Voicemail option. And then below, you can go in and configure your voicemail through the Microsoft Teams platform. This is solely Microsoft platform functionality and not typical functionality that Netophone provides. Netophone is providing you with the connectivity for inbound and outbound calls here, so you are able to supercharge your Teams account with Netophone. Thanks so much for watching and happy dialing!